Hey everyone, this is Casey and I'm going to be doing a 10 trade series. I'm going to show you how much money I make, how much money I lose in these 10 trades. And if you want me to do this and continue to the end, you're going to have to comment and subscribe. Okay? You can see there's the balance and there's the account. It's a live account and there's the account number. We're going to check that on every single video. But if you want me to continue, the balance is 9,239. If you want me to continue, just leave a comment, like, and subscribe because I have to know that this is helping people and that you guys actually want this content uh, because I'm going to take a lot of time and I'm going to be showing you step by step how I get into trades and everything about that. Now, the first thing I want you to notice here on this Euro Yen is that we're in an uptrend and it recently just tapped off of a couple support levels. You see there's a support level, there's a support level, and so I'm looking for this trend to resume. Uh, we have a trend line we could put in place here, and uh, if we get a breakout, this could be a nice trade uh, because there's a lot of room for this trend to continue. Uh, so things are looking pretty good there. Also, uh, we've had some Consolidation, I like to see consolidation happen, and we got the MACD starting to roll over on a daily time frame. So these are all some really good things that I like to look for when I'm looking for new trades. So let's go ahead and go down to a 15 minute time frame, see if there's a, a better entry. Right now it recently did just try to pop out. Just popped out, but it didn't make it. We didn't get enough momentum, and that happens sometimes. Uh, so we might get another push down into the consolidation level. We might go even further down. I don't know. But when I'm going to be doing these videos, it's going to be really important that I time them just right. So I'm going to th draw this trend line in here. This is a potential support level. Okay, and I'm going to keep my eyes on it just during this video. I don't have a lot of time but I can't force a trade. So that's something you need to remember is never ever force a trade. Even though I'm doing this just for educational purposes, since it's for educational purposes, I do not want to force a trade. So right now the price is moving lower. I'm not going to enter in on this trade as price is dropping. So it's a nice level right now, but the MACD is a little overextended. It might be better to let it settle down a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at the New Zealand dollar, see if there's anything on that trade. Okay, so this is another one that I was looking at, New Zealand dollar USD. Uh, price is consolidated along the support level. We're also in an uptrend. The MACD is moving lower, and so it would be great to be able to get this um, as a breakout, right? And so I've been watching that and you can see we have a nice little channel there. If it breaks this little mini trend line, it can go up to that top trend line. There's a, a nice trade right there available. So these are all things that we want to look at. The MACD is lowering. So now it did pop and break and now it's stalled. So what might happen is it might go back to the place of breakage. And a lot of times when you get a break, it doesn't just go straight it takes patience to come back to that level. And so you can see where my cursor is, that level's there. Uh, the MACD is overextended, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the trade's not gonna work. Uh, so I'm gonna be patient on this one. I'm not gonna get in at the top. Remember, I'm timing it just right and I'm gonna wait. So now I just jump back over the Euro <laughs> and seeing how it responds to that level. Um, you can see that MACD's lowering. It, touch that level on the 15, I'm back to a daily, um, and so it's just curious to see if we're actually gonna get a break or out or not. Sometimes these things take a lot of time, and sometimes the sellers will win and they'll push it, but right now, that's looking pretty solid, okay? That's looking pretty solid, it's bouncing right off that support level. Uh, even if, I, if it doesn't follow through, I could probably get a, a tinier trade there. Um, I might come back to this, give it a little more time to set up. Um, so, actually, let's go ahead and look at a five minute and see what happens. Okay, now, the first thing I want you to notice is that it's about ready to break the previous candle high. And we still have about three minutes left on this candle to close. Um, and you can see that on my Epic tool on the left, 254. But 
I'm looking for that previous high to break. Uh, I do that on daily time frames. I do it on four hours right there. That's what I want to do. I even do it on as low as a five minute. The previous candle is a great price action signal to me that price could be getting in. And it doesn't always work because uh, you can see the previous setup, but especially when you have like one, two, three, four, five, there's five red candles in a row, then you get a green candle. Well, it could start a nice streak with the green candles. And remember, we're just playing probabilities here. Anything can happen, um, and it's trying to push right now. Uh, but I want to wait till closer to the end of the candle here. I'm going to wait just a little bit more um, until the end of this candle develops. So we still got some time. It's looking good right now, but I'm not going to take it just yet. So if towards the end of the candle this goes in, I'm going to go ahead and take the trade. But um, Patience is required in trading, right? I'm in no hurry. Yes, this is a five minute candle, but I'm in no hurry. Um, anything can happen at any time, and I want to play the probabilities. I understand that once I get into a trade, I don't control the market. I only control when I get in and when I get out. And so since I control when I get in and when I get out, I want to be very particular to make sure that I let the market come to me that I dictate the trades and that I'm not going to be jumping around. As a matter of fact, I wanted to get into this trade earlier this morning, but I missed the entry and so I was patient. Uh, you see that those big candles on the left? I wanted to enter, but I did. Okay, so while I'm waiting, let's look at the USD CAD. That's another example of breaking the previous candle high. Take a look at where, this is not a trade. This is an entry order, and sorry for jumping around, but this is an entry order. When it breaks that previous candle high, I was going to go long, but it got rejected. It didn't break the previous high, and now it's headed lower. So I'm still going to watch this because it's still right now moving up, um, and I'm looking for maybe to hit the bottom of the trend line, consolidate a little bit, and bounce back up. So this is a trade I'm watching, but again, I'm not going to take in. I'm looking for a bounce to the upside. Okay, let's go back now to the uh, to the euro yen. And as I was said, I'm being patient. Let's see the candle. There's 20 seconds left. Now I'm okay to get in. So we're going to put the buy order on. We've got it on a market trade. This is using my Epic tool. The description on how to get that tool is in in the description. It's been a game changer for me. And I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to place the order. Okay, so I just put the order in and I went long. You can see there's my entry order on the break of the candle. I have my stop loss at the end of the candle. Pretty tight stop loss. Um, it's about a 10 pip stop loss. And there is a little bit of resistance that I still have to deal with right over here. But I'm happy because I, I was patient. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? And so. Um, Remember, one of the things, I'm going to do a 10 trade series, so my goal here really is just to get $100 a day. And the, right now I have a five lot trade on, so if I get uh, just a few pips, it'll be very easy for me to get those $100. So my stop loss is 10, my target is 20, and the price is already in profit, so that's pretty nice. And I'm going to play around a little bit. Remember, if we get the 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio, um, that would be really great because I would be winning much more than I would be losing on each trade and therefore you can have a better than a 50% win rate and still make a lot of money. If I did a 50% and a 2 to 1, if I make a thousand on every winner, then that's really good. Now I'm moving it down. That's 4 pips is only is $193. So that's pretty good. I can make $200 really quick. So right now Actually, since this is working so well, 4.7 pips is $221. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, conversely, if I lose, it's $466 loss. That's pretty big as well. Um, but you get the idea. Um, if you can make $100 in a few minutes, that's pretty solid. As a matter of fact, the time of this video is only uh, right now at the 9 minute and 36 second mark. And I'm almost already up $200 in such a short period of time. So, and I just took the trade. So really, the, the truth of the matter is that since I've taken the trade, I've only been up a minute and I've made $200 in a minute. Uh, well, I'm not quite at $200 yet. 
So I'm just kind of goofing off here, playing around, but I'm going to be taking this very seriously. Again, if you want to see the 10 trades, please leave a comment and subscribe uh, because if I don't get a lot of interest, I'm not going to go ahead and continue on with this series. So uh, price is moving up pretty good right now. I like what I'm seeing. These candles look great. If I get back up to the top, that's a one-to-one. -one. But since this video has already been going about 10 minutes, you guys are probably getting impatient. I'm just going to do $216 and see if I can hit that. Um, my risk to reward on that now is $400 if I lose, $200 if I win. That's not the greatest risk to reward ratio. So if I hit 10 in a row and then I finally lose one, well, then I will give up a lot of my profit. So I want to make sure that I'm continuing working on my risk to reward ratio, risk to reward ratio, and also working on my stops uh, and my managing my win percentage, managing my risk to reward ratio. It's kind of a balancing act. But again, we want to plan everything out. Okay, so it looks like I'm ready to t take this out right now. Boom. We just got it. Okay, so you can see my balance now, $9,413. We just made $216 in a matter of three minutes or so. Pretty good. Um, so again, that's going to be it for today's video. If I, I really want to know if you have questions about the strategy. If I was too fast, too confusing, whatever, if you want to keep seeing these trades, let me know. I'm going to document the whole process, so it's going to be a lot of fun, but I have to get your guys' feedback. So again, thanks, and let me know if you have any other questions. I'm always here. I respond to everything. Thank you, and we'll see you guys very soon. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I'm going to be posting these about the same time every day, so be on the lookout about 3 p.m. Eastern Time when the trades come out. All right. Well, thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.